Hello creative designers and welcome on to this story. My name is Peter and on to this story we just going to see how we can be able to create or turn our e-commerce website to a multi-vendor e-commerce website with Dokkan. Dokkan is a free plugin and on this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to set up step by step and achieve a multi-vendor website. This is the Dokkan dashboard. You can see this admin dashboard. Here we have all this analytic. Once you click on Dokkan it may change the display the way it is, but for now, this how it look like. He be able to see the the maximum uh, the sale that made on that month, commission and vendor waiting approval, and how many vendors have already signed up on that month, how many product has been created and withdraw amount. And from there, uh, vendor will have the option to see the withdraw maybe. Uh, pending approved and cancelled and even the withdrawal request and he can be able to even approve all download payment uh, file and a uh, cancel and all that you have so many options there we also been able to see the vendors that are available you can see i created just this one for the purpose of this tutorial and i'm also going to show you how the vendor dashboard look like and you'll have uh, the option to see all the modules that can be added to the token you can see there's so many things that are included here and you can even integrate all of them you can see you can be able to use these because they are premium features but if you need them you just only need to select one and be able to uh, to see all the to see how they work from there now we have this for features you can check on them and the other thing that i'm going to take you step to step is this setting i'm also going to show you how to set up all these and from there we go to the vendor account and we log into the vendor account and i just log in here this is the vendor before you proceed you can be able to see that the account will have let me just log out here let me just let us just con let me first of all log out here and I show you something. Before the log, this is how the login will look like. It may change depending on the theme that you're using. For now, I'm using Astro as a free theme. And I've just imported the demo for the purpose of this tutorial. So this is the register form. And you can see we have one who want to be a customer and one who want to be a vendor. Once you click the vendor shop, you can see how the form to register for the vendor and if you if the vendor has already an account you only need to log in here and let's just log in to the vendor account and we see how it look like what are those features that are included in the vendor uh, dashboard so this is the vendor dashboard and the, on the vendor dashboard you'll have to see the sales made on that month the earning and the page view and the orders that have been included here you can see the summary for the orders and summary for the product you can be able to see how many product he, he has added all the vendor has added he can also be able to add a new product from here total sales you can see total sales the number of orders all of them with that is the analytic page on the dashboard he'll be able to see many many analytics from there and from there we'll have this product the vendor will be able to see if the vendor has if the product has been approved and is already online you can see he'll be able to see all this how many high in stock or event see if it's on stock pricing earning and uh type of uh, of the product uploaded how many people have read the product and it published he'll have so many features from there he will be he will be the vendor will have this option to even add the product you only need to click on that and upload the product set or that uh, set the even the category and tags and add some description and create an add new or create the product just like that he'll be able to have the vendor will also have this order option and he'll be able to see that he can be able even to export and export filtered he also see these completed processing and all that once he has one if, if the process uh if the order is on processing stage this will be shown uh to just change the color and do come like that now we proceed to the withdraw 
for the vendor he'll have that if you set the minimum i'll show you how you can set up the, the minimum amount to withdraw if he achieved this uh he will have this uh, option active and you can see for now he's having this error uh, this message that tell them they don't have sufficient balance to please uh withdraw request and from there the vendor will also have this setting yeah he'll be able to set up the banner the profile picture set up all these and even uh, he can also decide to show terms and condition and store uh, show closing time once he click on that he can be able to customize all these and for now he can even see he can add even some digital notice from for their website i also show you how you can control these because sometimes you may find that it's not easy for you to control the email for the vendor they may decide to show up the email or even the contact for them and you can control that we are also going i'm also going to show you how you can control that and from there it will be on the payment they have to set up the payment they want to receive the money with if you decide to be paying with paypal they have to have a paypal account and add a valid email account for their paypal so the other thing is the bank transfer they have to include their name bank account name of the bank address and all those that are needed and from there you can you have this option to even view this the the store for now this is the store for now that we are having you can see how it is look like we have not included the banner and even the profile picture but you can see here and they'll be able to see even the the latent and from there the product they have included on the shop and from there they have the way they can edit the account and they can even the log out with that button that's the tutorial for today i'm my name is peter and this is, and on this channel we do tutorial related to wordpress for the beginners and for even the expert there's no one who is expert in this world we all need one another for us to succeed so if you're new here consider subscribing if you have if you have that person who have subscribed to my youtube channel consider hitting the thumbs up for this tutorial so without further ado let's just get into action and i show you what we are going to do so i need to close up this one and we proceed to this new website first thing we need to go to do is we go to the dashboard click here on the dashboard and on the dashboard menu scroll to say you have the plugin because we need to install a new plugin and on the plugin section and on the plugin section we need to add a new plugin we needed to select add new so from here we need to search for Dokkan here we have Dokkan here and we can we have Dokkan best WooCommerce multi vendor marketplace solution. Build your own e your own Amazon, eBay, and ATS. So that the, the developer is called We Devs, and you can see it has more than sixty thousand active installation. Four point five latent out of three hundred ninety one people who are taking time to let this product last updated three months ago or three weeks ago, and for that we install the plugin. And from there, we need to add another plugin here. There is called Token Vendor Info Hider. This plugin will just help us to control those information that customer or the vendor can share to the customer. So, for us to be able to control them, you need this one. It's called Token Vendor Info Hider. Hide in Vendor Info from Store List and Store Page. And from there, you can see this bar. Um, this plugin is from the team of CS Code team, and you can see it only have 400 plus active installation, last updated almost a year ago, but it's still working well. I'm just going to show you how. So we just install this other plugin. After successful installation, we proceed now to the installed plugin. We need to activate one by one. The thing I forgot to just tell you is that you need WooCommerce installed in your website and working collection. From there, the other thing you need is this token plugin and we activate this token. After successful activation of the plugin, this window will pop up the token setup wizard. We need to set up this and 
this will not mean that you cannot be able to change anything you, ch uh, you set here you will also have all these options and many many other pro options this is just for the setup so that the the dashboard can be created so we just need to click let's go and for here we have the store url and you can see this store url will contain the what uh the domain name this store this one you see you uh you you enter here and this uh vendor name here so you can change these all layers i just leave it the way they are from there we have the shipping fee for the recipient how where do you want the shipping fee to uh to be deducted or who should cater for the shipping fee i won't say maybe a vein or the vendor it all depend on how the procedure the all those things you considered when you are creating your website from there we go to the tax fee recipient who is the one to take care for the tax so you say the vendor or the admin you have the map map api where do you want uh, if you want to include the api you can have you need, need to select either map box or google box i'm not just going to get into this because currently i don't have the google map api key but if you do have them or if you do need them there's so many tutorials they are explaining how you can get the google map api you can just check out or just click on them here and just direct to this page and you can just uh for all those that is just described here and you get their own credential or for the api and you include here you have also share the issue if you turn this on here you just allow docker to just collect some non-sensitive data uh, that will help them to improve this plugin so from there we just go to continue we need to get to the selling point here we are now in the here we are now in the selling setup so what do you want to set up for the selling uh for the vendor so the new vendor will be enabled to selling for if you turn this on that means that if a new vendor just sign up he'll be able to just start selling without you approving uh th the product or that but i would just turn this off but you can turn it on yourself but i'll just turn it off because i need to just verify for each and every plug, uh, product uh, posted before the end of this tutorial i'll show you we'll just get a one product from the vendor and see how this works so what do you want uh, what type of commission do you want you have the percentage and you have the flat rate if you include the flat rate that means for every product you just be deducted the amount that you include here if you select percentage that means that if once makes a, a sales of a hundred dollars you'll be able to get ten dollars percent or the percentage that you include here so here you'll be able to see set the percentage type you just want uh, order status change do you want to allow the vendor to change the order order status for me i'll turn this off because you may find that there's so many hiccups here and there and the vendor has just updated it's good for you to just set the uh, the status for the order so just that you can turn it on on your side and check what are these uh, effects that can have but it won't be good uh, to just let the vendor to just change the status so from there we just click continue and we go now to set uh to set the minimum withdraw and all that so from there now we are withdraw setup here so you need to set up the withdraw uh payment method that that will be favored to you so here we have the paypal and we have the bank transfer you can set the one that you feel is good for them or what is convenient with you and even you should put in consideration what is good for the vendors also you may find that you want to allow people and find some of them are not maybe good uh uh maybe paypal is not available on their section and we have the bank transfer if you want to add more option to payment you just come here to woocommerce and you go to setting and you just come here to payment and you can activate my more you can install more payment method here 
and with that you can also have so many other options here that you can allow the vendor to use for payment here we have the minimum withdrawal limit you can set up the minimum withdrawal limit if you don't want to have a minimum withdrawal limit you can just remove these with that you have just removed the minimum withdrawal and what are the order status that can allow the vendor to request all uh, for payment for me i will say when the order has been delivered to the customer so i won't select the processing i was only select the completed and with just that i just click continue here they have recommended some uh, some plugin that works well with Dokkan, but I'm, I'm not going to just include them i'm not really in need of them i just click continue and it's just that we are now we have been able to uh, to set up the Dokkan uh, workplace and uh, mark, we have been able to set up the Dokkan marketplace and what we just need to do is we go to the dashboard and we'll be able to see what we have just created so on the start of this tutorial we were here and remember i was just including and telling you so many things from here so from there we are not going to check on all this we are only going to select on setting because that is where we need to set all that for our website but before we proceed i will just we go to the plugin and select install plugin remember we had this token vendor info hider we activate this plugin and from there now we go back to the token and we select setting we have added so other more features to our website you can see from now we have this one which we had we never had in the, in the start if i come here back and i open here in a new tab and I decided to deactivate this plugin, Veda Info Hider. I deactivate and I come back here and I refresh. You find that this slot here will just disappear. So you see, we don't have those other options that were included. So we just need to come back here and activate. So what you just need to do is we refresh and we continue with our tutorial. So here we are now. We do want to limit the vendor to have this you do want them to add uh, do you want to allow with this admin area access do you want to allow the vendor to have access to this admin i don't think so they don't need but if you want to allow them but you can untick this from there now you can set up the store address remember we said if the store address you contain your domain name is the text that you include here and the vendor name here let it be like that or maybe you can see shop and all that from there we go to the vendor setup logo and i also i will just click one logo here do i have one let me just use only for this for the purpose of the tutorial and do you want to disable docker or come wizard uh let the customer let the vendor just go and set up some few things before they proceed to the store you can disable it from here and from there now we go to the vendor store option so here we want to allow the vendor to have the uh, store terms and condition you can include that and how many product you want to be posted per page it all depend on how you just want to customize or how you want to create your website or how or the theme this may be affected even by the theme and so many other features and how you just want them to display the size and all that so i'll just leave it there to the default but you can change it to uh, you can just change it so from here now we go to hide vendor info whenever the customer want to view the vendor store they have to you can hide those things you don't want them to just see so you can hide the email and the phone and you can just leave the others and click save setting from there now we proceed to say to the setting option you remember we did talked about the type of commission you just want it is a flat all percent uh, the main commission you just need to include the percentage or the flat rate that you want to uh, earn from each sales we have the now the shipping fee recipient who is the one to cater for the receipt uh, the shipping fee is it the vendor or the admin have even the tax for the recipient you can just check on that 
now here we have now the vendor compatibility here now we are going to set uh compatibility for the vendor in this Dokkan light or this free of version we don't have so many features but for only these it is da it just does magic and does so many things so we have the new vendor product approved do you want uh, the newly uh, registered vendor to approve uh, the product yeah you can just check on them you can just uh, disable product pop up uh, if you want to disable on this you can do you want them to allow the vendor to change the order status no do you want to allow the vendor to switch uh i don't think so let the vendor remain as a vendor and the customer remain as a customer so we save the changes from there now we proceed to withdraw options remember we said uh you can set up the withdraw option you can even allow back transfer the minimum withdraw limit you can set them here and exclude cod you can exclude but let, let it remain like that and from there now we proceed we just save here we now go to page setting these pages were created automatically but for this story still you can just leave it with the yeah if you have a terms and condition page you can just select it here and with that all you just need to do is you save the setting so from there now we go to the appearance of the uh, of the vendor dash uh, of the vendor shop or even the dashboard and all that for this we do we just get a match on the what can be seen or how the shop will look like remember we talked about show map map do you want show map on the store uh let me not show that map api source i don't want if you untick this one and to also disable this one and if you have google api key you can just set up on this uh show contact form on the store yeah let them display the contact form and this is the store header how does the store header look like you can come here and select the one you see good for you so i would wish to have this one a very simple one and we have the store and closing time do you want them to have the store opening and closing time widget yeah let them have them enable store side from them yeah something may not like to show the store side but you can just tick this one and hide vendor info on this here you just let's, let's hide info like email address and store address and we just start we save the setting and just that now we are into our privacy and policy page you just if you you can set up on this you set up the privacy page and you can enable the privacy page here and you can include your privacy policy here and for now you're having the Dokkan policy i'll just maintain on that and i just save the setting we just start we are done with setting up our own shop what you just need to do is i just need to create we need to create a one shop and you see how it will just go so i need to just come here and click a new because i need to set up a new shop for the vendor so i come here and i say this is a demo shop like that and i stay i say the uh, the store name is shop demo shop like that can see it is even advising the customer if this uh is available and you can even be able to change even the store url and even the phone number the email we see demo email i'm just getting this uh vendor store just for the purpose of the tutorial so i add here and say it's a demo store and you can even come here and generate a password but i'm not just going to use that let me use a simple one and from there all i just need to do let me use this is demo store so the other thing that i you need to do if you have to create a vendor store for your vendors you just click you just need to proceed on this and even select even the country is from kenya and the state i want to say is nairobi like that and i click next and we have the payment method that are going to be included i'm not going to set on this i just click create the vendor store we just the vendor store has been created and here we have it so let me just copy this for the purpose of 
uh, me forgetting the email so we need to go open on a new window here and i open it in a private tab and i say is dokan.com i have done a tutorial on how to have the login logout and even forgot password even register button on your on your menu here i include the link of the description kindly check it will be the first link here on the description check on it and see how you can be able to set up the link uh the login logout register button in your e-commerce website so what you just need to do for now i just need to click here on account and you can see it will just take us to the um, my account page or either login logout page you have uh if the if the vendor want to register you just need to select i'm a vendor if it's a customer you need only to select i'm a customer from there you can see you have the username here and i just need to enter my credential here and just that login and you can see this is the vendor dashboard this is how it will look like let's now come here to product and we add a new product here let me just try to put an image here i have the image and i set the featured image i need to set the demo i say this is a test product how much do you want it to cost you can even see maybe for now is on discounted price and you can even add more images here i don't have many other more images yeah so just leave it the way it is for now so i select the category and just that i add some more tags and add more uh I add description let me just add a small description here for it to look like a genuine one so we add a small description here and we create the product it's just so simple for the vendor to even upload a product upload and create a product you can see the product created successfully and you can see it's pending review so the the vendor the admin need to approve this product so all you just need to do is you go back to the admin dashboard here and uh, we go to the dashboard here and you can see where to sign up on this month is one and uh product created this month and you can just click here it's not working on that end so we can proceed to go to the product here and select our product and you can see this product is pending you will have this you have an email uh, to just say your vendor has created a product and just come to this product you can see it's all pending or else let's see if the dock and vendor option is allowing us to see the product that's all pending so here we see you don't have any pending so you go to the module uh, so the way only we can do it is come into the product and select our product and click here to see all pending product you can just go one by one maybe one the only way you can just go doing it this is just click quick edit and you can even change the name the slug you can even add date password if these are protected product you can add sku number price if it on sale you can even uh, set the shipping class visibility you can search it uh you can enable them you can even manage stock from here but what you are just looking most is you come here on status and say it's publish and update when you just do that and uh we come back here on the vendor on the vendor dashboard we refresh here our product now is online that how it's easy for the vendor to have the shop working on your e-commerce website and it's just that you make money out of the commission you earn that's a tutorial for today did you learn something if you did learn something hit the thumbs up for this tutorial remember to subscribe to this our to this youtube channel as we do share much more tutorial related to wordpress for anyone who is interested in keeping creating a WordPress website? My name is Peter. Till next time, thank you.